Hello and welcome. This video we want to talk about the vertical asymptotes of logarithmic functions. The most famous type of functions that have vertical asymptotes are rational functions, functions that are in the fraction form. But our focus in this video is on finding the vertical asymptotes of logarithmic functions. The knowledge about vertical asymptotes is very useful when we want to sketch graph of functions. Let us start with log x in the base b, a general form of a logarithmic function. If you remember graph of logarithmic function, the graph of these type of functions is like this. Or it can be this. When the graph of the logarithmic function is the is this one, and when it is the other one, it depends to the base of your logarithmic function. If the base of your logarithmic function is the number here is greater than one, which usually it is, for example, the base of the log is two. 7, 10, any number greater than 1, the graph of logarithmic function is like this. Log x in the base b is like this. But if the base of the logarithmic function is a positive number but between 0 and 1, so if the base is between 0 and 1, then the graph of logarithmic function is the other one. But as you can see, they have something in common, the vertical asymptote. As you can see here, this line, which is the y-axis, is the vertical asymptote for both of them. So it doesn't matter what is the base. x equals 0 is the vertical asymptote. x equals 0 is the vertical asymptote for this function. And it doesn't matter what is the base. For any base, x equals 0 is the vertical asymptote of log x in the base b. Now that we found this general rule for log x in the base b, let's use it to find, log, to find the vertical asymptotes of other logarithmic functions. For example, Suppose we want to find the vertical asymptote of log x minus 4 in the base 2. First of all, the base doesn't matter what is this number. Here, the vertical asymptote was x equals 0. For finding the vertical asymptote of a log function in general, simply you have to set whatever is here the expression here, not x, the expression here equal to 0, and then you can find the vertical asymptote of the logarithmic function. So, for finding the vertical asymptote of this function, we have to set x minus 4 equals 0, and x equal 4 is the vertical asymptote. And actually, if you draw this log function, you don't need to know the graph or focus in this video is not on the graph of log functions, but I'm going to show it here so you can understand better why x equals 4 is the vertical asymptote. The graph of this function is something like this. As you can see, x equals 4 is the vertical asymptote. By comparing this function with this original log function, this is same function, but it is because of x minus 4, this means that it is shifted 4 units to the right. It's a translation that has happened here. But you don't need to think that way. Simply, for finding the vertical asymptotes, always set whatever is here equal to 0, and it gives you the vertical asymptote. Let's do another example. Suppose we have y equals ln of, for example, 2 minus 4x. 
probably you know that ln is a log function which its base is e so ln is a logarithmic function so for finding the vertical asymptote we use the same rule we have to set this expression equal to zero to find the vertical asymptote from this equation if we rearrange the equation if we move the two to the other side it would be negative 4x equals negative 2 and if we divide both sides by negative 4x would be negative 2 over negative 4 or 1 half so x equals 1 half is the vertical asymptote of this function let me sketch the graph of this function here for you the graph of this function if we suppose here is one so one half would be here and the graph of this function is something like this as you can see x equal one half x equal one half this vertical line here is x equal one half is the vertical asymptote for the function if you wonder why it is this way it it rotates to the left it's not in the right side of the vertical asymptote if you wonder why it has happened it's because here the coefficient of x in the equation look at here is negative so a reflection has happened but our focus in this video is not about graphing is about finding the vertical asymptote for finding the vertical asymptote simply set whatever is here equal to zero to find the vertical asymptote of logarithmic functions let me show you one more example let's say we want to find the vertical asymptote of the function log x to the 2 minus 9 when we don't write the base of a log function it is 10 for finding the vertical asymptote of this function simply set x2 minus 9 equals 0 if you move 9 to the other side x2 equals 9 and if we take a square root x equals 3 and x equals negative 3 so this particular question has two vertical asymptotes let me sketch the graph of this function x equals 3 if we consider it to be here negative 3 here the graph of this function would be something like this and if you wonder why between negative 3 and 3 there is no graph we have nothing it's because of the domain of this function for logarithmic functions we know that the expression in front of log function should be positive so x to the 2 minus 9 should be greater than 0 if we solve this inequality we can see that the domain of this function is numbers greater than 3 and less than negative 3 so that's the reason this is not part of the domain of this function so we have nothing for the graph of this function and this is the graph of that function so let's review the process of finding vertical asymptotes for logarithmic functions simply set expression in front of log function this expression equal to zero solve it for x and you can find the potential vertical asymptotes of the function i hope by watching this video you have learned how to find the vertical asymptotes of logarithmic functions